Good late Saturday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this July 21st of 2018. It's been a pretty quiet day overall. It was a nice reward after dealing with some strong to severe thunderstorms late last night and during the early morning hours. We could use some more rain though. At the very least, I have more rain chances in the extended forecast as we roll along. But let's start with these thunderstorms from late last night into this morning. They just fired up right on top of us and worked south and east as the overnight hours wore on. You can see how by 3, 4, 5 o'clock they were on the way out. Around our area, the worst that these thunderstorms did was drop some hailstones ranging from quarter to half dollar size. And once the storms really got going in Benton County, Arkansas, mainly east of 49, east of Bentonville and east of Rogers, that's where the hailstones started to tick up to about golf ball size. So for our area, at least, we didn't have to deal with a lot in the way of severe weather, as far as widespread severe weather is concerned, that is. And where it definitely opened up, we had at least some measurable rainfall amounts underneath the heaviest of the thunderstorms. Where you got underneath the heaviest, rainfall amounts ranging from half an inch to maybe an inch, inch and a half. That's the kind of rain we need on a more widespread basis, and we hope to cash in on some more rain chances as we work through the next several days. And I'll explain why here. 94 degrees for a high today in Joplin, at least drier air meant for a hot but at least tolerable uh, afternoon across the area after starting at 71 this morning. Let me show you the rain stats. No rain officially observed at the rain bucket today. We're behind for the month by 1.7 inches, but look at where we are for the year. We are at 17.4 inches, and normally we should be just over 26 and a half. So we're behind by at least 9 inches. So we definitely need the rain. And thankfully, once again, we do have some more chances in the extended forecast. It's 75 degrees, last check at the airport in Joplin late on this Saturday night with an east breeze eventually turning back out of the northeast at about, well, let's say, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Already some outlying areas like Nevada and Fort Scott are already dropping out to 70. Most of us, however, in the lower to middle 70s late on this Saturday night. Some clouds out west are trying to sneak in, but the rain that's showing up around Hayes and then working back west of Colby over to Goodland and the Colorado-Kansas State line, those rain those rain how about those thunderstorms along with the rain they will not make it here some of that cloud cover will as we roll into your sunday morning looking at the wider view of the lower 48 we're actually in between two storm systems we have our system that gave us the thunderstorms last night and this morning pushing well off to our south and east now high pressure is what's going to keep us nice and quiet for your day tomorrow off to the west of the high though we have our next system waiting in the wings out across the Rocky Mountain Range. It'll take its time to get here, but it will get here eventually as it continues to ride along the jet and head our way as we go through the next few days. Will that system get here tomorrow? Not looking likely. We have just a quiet day lined up overall, partly to mostly sunny skies. It'll be a warm, not a bit of a hot day, but again, with dry air still in place, not looking like a bad way to wrap up your weekend tomorrow. Keeping things quiet for your Monday as well. Partly sunny skies and temperatures, mainly upper 80s to about 90 degrees in a few spots. Then that system comes in, riding along the jet on your Tuesday as it does. This run of the future track wants to pop up a thunderstorm or two. For the most part, I'm not seeing a whole lot of moisture for this to work with. So for the most part, let's call Tuesday dry for now, but if need be, we'll have to introduce thunderstorms back into the forecast for Tuesday. Again, so far, the official call for now is to keep Tuesday dry. Wednesday and Thursday look dry, if not a bit on the hot side. Then our stronger system will be riding along the jet as it comes closer to us. That's what will set the stage for at least a better shot for widespread rain and widespread thunderstorms as we go into this coming Friday and definitely going into at least a part of your next weekend. So let's hold on to those rain chances. Let's hope they hold on because, again, we need all the rain we can get around here. If you don't want any rain tonight to wake you up or keep you awake during the night, we'll keep things nice and quiet this time around. Not to mention a bit mild with eventually a light northeast breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Let's have overnight lows in most spots dropping off to about 67. 
And look at how nice the day ahead of us will look as we go through your Sunday. 84 by lunchtime, 89 degrees for an afternoon high in Joplin again. Nice day overall with a north breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That keeps the dry air in place. I think overall we'll be in the upper 80s because of passing cloud cover throughout the day. If you see more sun throughout the day, though, you could be closer to 90, if not maybe in the lower 90s. But again, the dry air in place means it's a tolerable heat, tolerable warmth to wrap up your weekend as we go through your Sunday. Rolling in the rest of your seven-day forecast, let's keep it warm for Monday and quiet, too, with highs around 88. Then back near 90, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Again, we're going to keep things pretty quiet overall through most of next week, especially tomorrow through Thursday. Then, if that system holds together and comes in as advertised, that stronger system, by the end of next week, that will give us a better shot for thunderstorms, and it could potentially knock us back into the upper 80s on Friday and maybe mid-80s for your Saturday. Not to mention... Overnight lows throughout the week ahead don't look bad, upper 60s to near 70. Have a good night. Have a great Sunday.